Hey everybody, Casey here. Just wanted to let you know that we do more than just this podcast, so why don't you head on over to YouTube and subscribe to our channel, Groupcast Nation. Also, you can like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, at Groupcast Nation. Also, if these three things are too convenient for you, you can also email us at groupcastnation at gmail.com. There you can give us any of your questions or comments, or if you want us to do an ad read of some sort of business or project you may be working on, you can also put that in there too. And don't worry, we'll put the links to these and more down in the links. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up, step right up. Beyond the threshold of this theme song lies the greatest show you've ever heard. A podcast where the topic is everything our fine specimens can think of. That's right, sit on down and have yourselves and listen to Groupcast. At center stage is Casey, creator of the show and part-time llama enthusiast. Oh man, I lo- how'd they know I love grilled shoe? In the animal tent is Erica, the tumbler wonder, single snake charmer, and long scarf wearer. A bear without ears would be B. On a soapbox, somewhere in the hedge maze, is Lennon, the comedian with the hard made of video games. Nailed it. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. So that'll work. I'm yeah, happy right. No, I left my phone upstairs. Oh no, your phone upstairs. Now how will you get distracted real easily during the podcast? Hey, but sometimes <laughs> I bring up good things that we can talk about. Well, right? that's true. Erica, I have to say, you are really good at improv. Eventually. <laughs> yeah, right? I'll be right back. Given enough time. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it takes me a long time. Things are great. Yeah, er- Erica's comedy is kind of like a steam train <laughs> in the fact that it's like real slow to start up, but it hits a moment at about minute 50. <laughs> <laughs> we really get going. It'll really get going and there. You have to get through the previous part of all the cribbity flippity. And anything else that may come before, but eventually it gets there. Yeah. And when it gets there, it's a beautiful moment to everybody. So welcome to Groupcast, welcome everybody. Welcome to Groupcast. Hey, episode, hey, she's back already. 132. 132? 132. 132, oh, wow. Four more weeks till Wes Williams. Oh um, my god, I, Ooh, nice. I forgot about that. I yep. have to be on that one. Yeah. I love how my, my description... I was for... just going to ask, when is that one? Four, four weeks. weeks. Four weeks from now. I lo- well, no, or four, knowing the way that we sometimes record uh, uh, three podcasts. Three months from now. Yeah, about seven weeks. Yeah, you'll be busy <laughs> on the weekends. I will, yeah, we will be pretty busy on the next couple weekends. Well, I know I will. will be. Yeah, I, I think I we all got shit going on. Yeah, I got, the, I got a tournament and a show next week. The week after, I may have another show. And the week after that, I may have another tournament. So. Now, there is no rule saying we have to record on There's no rules! Course. Well, that's true. We can always, because we, back in the day, we used to record on Mondays. Oh, really? that's true. Yeah, yeah, we did. Because the first episode I was on was also, like, the first day of a uh, co- uh, new college semester. Oh, yeah. And I didn't know exactly how long it would take me to leave Wes's place to get to college yeah. for my first class, mm-hmm. which happened to be uh, a class with our, uh, with the art chairman at the time, Professor Dolben. Did you say Dolben? Yes. Uh, who is? Who? I don't know if you. I don't know if you guys have ever played the game Final Fight, but if you if you've ever seen Mike Hagar, <laughs> that's 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 Dolben. Like he's this big dude. He's got that mustache and the short, like almost almost buzz cut kind of hair. Have a mustache anymore? I don't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but the fact is, I didn't. I I misjudged the time that it would take me to get from Wes's place to college for my class and i was like 10 or 15 minutes late or something to this mm-hmm. to the what was the uh the what was the art class everybody took uh art senior seminar yeah see it was a senior oh, seminar yeah. class and i walked and like every he's like giving like a, a a rundown of the class to everybody and as i open the door i hear him going no i don't tolerate anybody being late <laughs> and, and i walked in and i sat down and he looked at me and he went that was just the perfect timing, yeah. really. And Seriously. he didn't care, so it was, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was the first yeah. day, so he yeah. was just whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, if, if, I mean, circumstances, it's doable. if circumstances keep us from being able to do the show on a weekend, then we can do a week show, and I'll just release it on that following Sunday. I don't yeah. have much going oh, that's on fine. week, really. Okay. I'm. I have off on Monday and Tuesday this week. Well, That's a little go. close to doing two episodes like that. <laughs> yeah. like, so what do we have to talk about? Well, I kind of said everything like 48 hours ago, so I don't. Well, you work every day, though, don't you? 
Yeah, but I, I get off at like 3.30. Oh, that's not, I, I didn't know how long you worked. Oh, yeah. Is that early? Huh? I was thinking you had it. Well, I go, I go into work earlier than most people, and oh, so yeah. I leave earlier than most uh-huh. people. It adds up. True story. All the math is there. Yep. Speaking of working, I don't know if it's going into effect this coming school year, yeah. but from what I've heard, I, I can't remember. I don't think it was Tom Wolf. That wants it to happen, but oh, someone else said it's going to happen. That school days are getting an extra forty minutes. Okay, forty yeah. minutes. Okay. So the day's going to last forty minutes longer. Okay. For what? Like, what are they doing? Just making the periods longer? Probably. There's general stretching. Yeah. For a total of forty yeah, minutes. Yeah. So, like, for instance, um. He fought in the Civil War, you know, general stretching. Yeah. <laughs> like Bermudian, they get out at 2.45, so if that went into effect, they'd get out at... Like 3.30. 3... Was it 25? 25. Yeah, 3.25 <laughs> or like 3.30. Yeah. Numbers, The elementary and school wouldn't Numbers. get out until like 4.30. That's a while. Yeah. Who and cares? Then, that means teach, well, that Well, teachers have to stay like 20, 25 minutes longer than the students do. Yeah. So at the elementary, that means teachers have to stay to at least five, if not all night doing shit. That's gross. And whenever they come in at five, six in the morning, that's a 12-hour-plus day. Well, yeah, that, that could be a yeah. little tough. Yeah. Because most teachers don't just do the, okay, I'm here at 7.30, let's go home at 3.30. No. <laughs> Do they shrug their shoulders repeatedly like that, They're all Wes. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of Wes, did you see the picture of him in a maxi dress? Yes, I did. I I thought it was that. Did you really think I was going to miss that? I didn't didn't know if you saw it or not. I turned off the uh, notifications. It was a 4th of July thing, right? Yeah. I would hope. I might have to put that in the links. Because I think he was also grilling. Yeah. Yeah. At first I thought it was a beach towel, until I was like, that's not a beach towel. (laughs) It's a good way to identify it's not a beach towel. And you said, no, it's not. Yeah, right. And it wasn't. The picture changed before my eyes. The picture that, just suddenly, he, Wes just looks at me, he's like, this is a dress. You can In say the that picture, just about like, just about anything. I thought this was a, a picture of a bouquet of flowers. It turns out it was actually... A lamp. It was Wes Williams. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it's flowers, but then it's like a cross fade. <laughs> oh. Dildos and bonfires. <laughs> Why do all my pictures turn out like this? <laughs> <laughs> he said that at one point. I just listened to that episode really? again recently. What episode was that? Was that, that was the most recent one? The last, yeah. The, the balls are back, back, or the one after no, that? The one after that. Lennon enjoys that. a duck. I enjoy. I did enjoy that duck. <laughs> the whole night was ruined by Duck Man. <laughs> Ant Man's coming out soon. It is it's coming out next week. And, I don't is it and next, you don't it is next. care. I still don't care. You still don't care. Well, I, I mean, I'll see it. Are you and going to see it? Probably. I'll see it, but I don't care about it. Yeah. I'd Which be, is a weird sentence. I'd be tempted but... to go see it. If yeah. You, I, think I, don't, my, I have no more free passes. I think my mom has won. See, the thing is, knowing Marvel Studios... It's, it's gonna, gonna work. Be, it's gonna work, but I just... Um, I'm not sold on the story or anything. I wouldn't know... Well, who's the who's Aunt Paul, R- Paul Rudd? Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. I like, I like him. Paul Rudd's not Hank that. Pym. He is he's not the, Hank Pym. He's, he is the the, he's like Ant-Man. the second Ant-Man. Which yeah. is kind of bullshit. A little bit. A little but, bit. It makes Ant-Man less appealing. Uh, he's not. He's not the super intelligent, egotistical almost, motherfucker. Yeah, almost psychotic. Has someone guy. played Ant yeah. Man before? No. Oh. But there, 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 there. The original Ant Man is not the character that Paul Rudd is. Yeah. But mm. the original Ant Man, the, the the is a Pim- character Pimberly. in the movie. Yeah. Uh, Pemberton. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it might detract from the movie a little bit. But like just by lowering my expectations that way, I know I'm just going to enjoy the movie more when I go see well, that's, it. That's how you get away with anything. If you set your standards low enough, you won't ever be disappointed. That's true. That's true. That's I know I a lot it. of people who get through life that way. That's why I'm a good yes. writer. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of your life, hey, I asked you about your car. Yeah, I want to know what happened. What about well, your car? Well, the sob. Did you see he doesn't have a sob in the, the sob? I didn't notice. Oh. Is no more. Oh, oh no! no. Uh, the transmission is dead. Oh yeah, that's no. Uh, yeah, that'll that's suck. a no. Sort of. <laughs> that's still a no. Okay, all right. It, How is it sort of? Though? It doesn't back up. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> It's the worst RNG you can imagine because <laughs> so it's like I might back up some days. We'll see. We'll some see. days it'll cooperate and back up and be able to shift into reverse, and sometimes it will not. Ooh. 
So, you know, I don't really, I don't like those odds. <laughs> right, right, of course. I don't actually know, like, how it stacks up, but I'm pretty sure where it's just t- totally random. Hmm. So for now, I'm driving uh, what my my family An calls... An 80-year-old person called. Bob. Bob? Well, back, back up. Where'd you get Bob? The, Bob is... Back the, up on... The back up automobile. I was going to say back up on demand, but that's... <laughs> I was going to say back up on demand, but that's bod. His middle, Nailed name, it. his middle name is Otto. Yes, yes, exactly, yes. Otto with an O. Yeah. So why is it Bob? Why is it actually Bob? It, Bob I, stands for Big Old Buick. Oh, okay. No, okay. I thought you were going to tell me I was correct, because I was so beige, on the money. You should just call it Boat. It's a 2000 boat? beige Buick Century. To me, all Buicks are boats. Oh, okay. My grandparents both have Buicks, and I call them boats. I've been, yeah, it is. Those things are enormous. They are. Like, you, you, you get it, you, you sit in the driver's seat, and you're like, I have so much room, what do I do with this? Yes. It's like sitting on this couch. You people at home can't see it, but this is like a very, a brown, really, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, just like all It's not, it's it's not a color. It's not a color, it's just It's beige. It's just, Yeah, it's that. Yeah, it's one of those. It looks like the kind of couch you'd see in your aged aunt's house. A little bit. It is. Yes. That's what it's like to sit in the, the seat of a Buick. Highly accurate, it is. yeah. And I've, so- I've been driving this thing for about two weeks, and I've determined it's that I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not old people's fault that they drive so shittily. I think <laughs> it's, it's the, the car. car's fault. Yeah. Like... The, the windshield is all gross, and I can't get rid of all the stains on it, so I'm, like, Ew. hunched up on the wheel trying to really? see outside of it. Hmm. The, get the, out of my way! The, yeah, the, the get mirrors, off my lawn! The mirrors Grandpa, are a little you're bit driving. scratched up, so I can't quite see out of them either. Well, I don't think all old people have cars that are that... I can't move the seat. <laughs> I can all only right. move it back and forward. I can't move it, like, up or back. Yeah, well, that's not You just terrible. said, I can move it... Back and forward, but I can't move I mean, it. I mean, like up and back. Like you, you can angle the the seat, but I you can't, can't move the back move... of the seat. I can't move the seat itself. Yes. Ah, yes. And it only goes back to about I'm gonna say 85 degrees. Mm, that's hot. Ooh, so that's hot. <laughs> so I'm hunched up on the wheel. This thing this accelerates about as fast as a kid trying to learn how to Turtle. drive without training wheels. Uh huh. So it's like. So you just start pushing yeah. it, and then you <laughs> hope it goes. <laughs> just now we're going. I would love if your car made that noise. <laughs> no, I'm just picturing it like Peter Griffin. <laughs> 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 I had car issues this week also. Oh no! Well, there, there's a little more to say. Oh, go for it. Okay. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll mine's, pass mine's not, the torch off to you. I'm guaranteeing that mine is not anywhere near as well, climactic. We can, we can take we can take a, a short break and we can. Just, no, no, you, you go, go right, right ahead. Yeah. I'll okay, just disappoint so, everybody. Yeah, so it accelerates really slowly. So I yeah. always I always feel like if I go out onto the highway, which I have to do to get to work. Yeah. yeah. I have to make sure there are at least three miles of cars yes. behind me before. Um, of empty space. Yeah, that's why yeah. I never Before use I my. Up there. That's why I never use my air conditioner on the highway. I can't accelerate. Yeah, mm. it's impossible. So unless, so if I know I'm not going to be on a highway, then I'll use air conditioning. Maybe. Well, yeah, it, it's it's really it sucks, and then people just assume that I'm an old person <laughs> till they see you and they're like, he's a really young. Well, they like pass by you, they're flipping you off. They're like, hey, go fuck. What? It's not a grandpa. And then they just keep going. Yeah. So. And it's really weird. Shifting into the first gear, it goes... And then it shifts into the fir- second gear, and it goes... <laughs> <laughs> like, first... It, it, it was really determined, and then it changed its mind. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> this. Out of the <laughs> gate, it's got all this confidence, and then it gets into second gear, and it's like, I don't, oh, I don't think I want to go this fast. Uh, I don't think I want a car. I don't think I want a car today. This is kind of pushing the limits. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, that thing sucks. I hate it. <laughs> at least you have a car. I do have a car. True, and yeah. I'm able to drive it, so I'm thankful for that at least. But I'm Thank now... God you guys had the backup auto mo Beal. Beal. <laughs> <laughs> Automo is the middle name. Automo, yeah. Automo. Yes. Obo. <laughs> the obo, Baloney. yes. The backup obomobile. <laughs> I like obomobile. The baloney right? automobile. 
That's pretty up there. <laughs> and since it doesn't go very fast, it's the slow mo oboe automobile. Oh my god! <laughs> slow mo oboe automobiloni. <laughs> Jesus That's our title. Christ. There's our title. <laughs> slow mo oboe automobile. No automobiloni. People are going to look at this <laughs> automobiloni and remember we're insane because they already know. They're yeah, already yeah. aware. Yeah. Anybody who's listened to anything we've ever done goes, "Oh, these people are fucking nuts." So <laughs> this them. changes nothing. All I, I'm now in the in the market for a new car yeah and so i'm test drinking uh, tra- test test driving. drinking you're test drinking <laughs> test drinking yeah just all the gasoline <laughs> hey i know a lady who does that she it's drinks not... an ounce a day i prefer what diesel. hold on no hold on <laughs> we need to take a break for that. excuse me erica explain it, yourself no, it was on, i don't personally know it was a girl well on then t- it was a girl on TV who drinks an ounce of gasoline a day. Okay, it sounded like this was someone you knew. <laughs> but she runs smooth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She, gets, she gets like 35 miles to the gallon. Yeah, yeah. Is it, uh, a 10,000 mile drive train warranty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are just words that I know now. <laughs> I've, it's I've, clear that you've expended your I've car I've been knowledge. to at least six dealers in the last week. Yeah. And yeah. it sucks. Yeah. Buying a car it sucks. Sucks. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Because the the first thing you realize is that and it doesn't matter how nice or shitty the person who's trying to deal you a car is, mm-hmm. they are out to get you. <laughs> well, that's fucking Instantly. car salesman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've had both very good and very bad luck. Like yes. the, the first and last people I went to mm-hmm. were really nice and like test driving the different cars was really awesome. The ones in the middle. Yeah. Okay. You should so, go to the place that's, uh, um, you know, the on uh, Route 30. It used to be a gas station. It's next to like Hosses and McDonald's. Okay. And it's in the middle there. Oh, is it by the Brewsters, the ice cream yeah, place? Where, yeah. That's where I got my car. Yeah, that's where I got mine. Yeah. Well, they're good people. Well, and they have good cars. I mean, anything we ever got from there was good. I'm I'm getting a slightly newer car. Okay. They have, they have. Yeah, they do, they do okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll check, check it out. I mean, point. when I got mine, it was on, it was five years old, and it what had. Year is your car? Tell them we sent you, and it they'll was, give you fucking a, nothing. My car's an O2. Okay. Yeah. Mine. My mine is also is also an O2. Well, that's weird. And yeah, we got it. That is and weird. <laughs> we got my car in 2007. It had 48,000 miles on it, and nice. it looked brand new. It smelled brand new on the inside. The lady hardly ever drove. I think she was a teacher, so. Yeah. It was an older teacher, so just never really drove it much, except just to and from work. Mine always leaked water when it rained hard. <laughs> yeah, I remember you telling us that. <laughs> yeah, it's like the they they presume it was like an XM wire that they had to kind of like mm. drill like a tiny hole to yeah. get the wire through. So now when it rains really hard, like I'll I'll like back up out of my driveway and I'll just hear water pouring in my bed <laughs> in like the in like the trunk area. So oh, what, yeah. what, again. what was oh, your yeah. trouble this week? Well. My trouble was basically on my way home from work, uh, I think Tuesday maybe, um, I, was, I was driving home and a tire sounded a little weird. Oh boy. Like it sounded like I may have like a flat going on, but it's like, it's not driving any different. So I guess... Was it like a... I'll keep it going. Like a low... It was kind of like a... <laughs> as yeah, it was going. But it, did, it didn't sound so bad. So like, well, yeah. it's not, it's not affecting anything, so I'm going to keep going. And I, when I got home, I got out of my car, and I was walking towards my house, and I could just hear just... Oh, no. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I looked, and perfectly, just perfectly, on top, like, how I had parked, it was sitting perfectly on top of the tire, just a bolt. Like, a, like just just embedded into that tire. And I was like, oh, shit, well, that's something I'll have to deal with. And I walked in, and I looked out, like, an hour later, and I might as well just not had a tire. <laughs> like... That that actually happened to Amber recently. Yeah, she was it was it was like it was like a rim and just like if you, <laughs> it was like a tire, and then like banana, and then oil. like yeah. if if road tar solidified, <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. How big you got the? How big was the bolt when it, once it was taken out? I don't know. I actually never saw it. I couldn't get it out. Oh, that's an issue. It's pretty oh, far so in there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, because uh, Amber was backing out of her driveway to go to work a couple days ago and ran over a nail in her driveway because her that's mom, happened before. Her mom was just like nails, <laughs> cow trumps. <laughs> You're never leaving again. <laughs> things in the garage, nails. <laughs> I just see her just skipping around the driveway. Just <laughs> I, su- it, I suspected it was caught if it hadn't been 
occurring like most of my trip home. I would have thought it would have occurred at the end of my road because they're building a new house down there. Yeah. So, I don't know. Well, I, I had a bolt in my tire a couple months ago. Yeah. And I didn't notice it because the way it got in my tire, it kept the air from coming out. That's So, nice. I didn't even notice it. That is nice. Plug. I'm guessing the bolt was one of the longer ones. It's like two, three inches yeah. long. I don't and, think mine was very long. But I didn't even know it was there. My mom noticed it. Yeah. I don't know how long it was there. It could have been there for a while. I, j- I never heard it because it was on my passenger. Did you know how long it was there? Huh? <laughs> but we were able to... I took it to the tire place. It's the Big Laville Tire Place. Okay. On uh, 234. Okay. And they patched it up for less than $20. Nice. They got That's they good. They got yeah. the bolt because my tire wasn't destroyed. So mm-hmm. they just took it out and then patched it they up. They did their thing. Couldn't even tell where the bolt came out. Every time yeah. I've gotten a flat tire, it's been at the most inopportune times. Yeah, I had mine. It's always been the most oh, that's hassle. Right. Yeah, the first time it was Amber and I going out to sushi, and then the, the tire just exploded. That's when the tire mm. came in. for the no tire. reason. The yeah. tire yeah. waiting, and that crazy guy who was going to burn down, who a, burned down a, a playground. A playground. Yeah. Yep. And then the second time it was snowing as I was oh, trying right. to get home to get my laptop. Oh, fuck yeah, that. I remember that. That sucked. Yeah, that's, God. that's part of the reason why I'm looking at like getting you and cars does not seem to work too well together. If well, I were Bob, I'd be worried right now. Well, I have... He's out there going, I have oh, very no! large car issues when it happens, but it doesn't yeah. happen too often. Uh, okay. The first flat, sort of flat tire I had was when I was student teaching at Northern York, which is half an hour from here. Mm-hmm. And I come out and I see my cars kind of sideways and I go, oh no. It's kind of sideways. Kind of sideways. <laughs> 90 <laughs> degrees, yes. Yeah, oh no, flat tire. Yeah, flat car. Oh no, you gotta like get a crane to like set it back up. <laughs> yep. And I come out in my passenger side. It wasn't completely flat, yeah. but it was about halfway there. And hmm. I was like, I call my mom and dad. I'm like, hey, you guys, <laughs> I am, uh, can't come home. So they had to drive the home. half an hour because I couldn't <clears throat> change a fucking tire. My yeah. dad almost had a heart attack trying to get the bolts off the wheel. No kidding. He was, He almost couldn't get it off. My When, when I did it this time around... We put the, the thing on, and we couldn't move it, so we just took, like, a fucking hammer and just hammered that bitch until it moved. Oh, that's... that's that what he, he was, he was like, kicking it with his foot. That would have been nice for me the first hammer. time I was trying to change a tire. We didn't have a hammer. If... Bring a hammer. If I had a hammer, hammer, hammer. I'd hammer in the morning. Would you? I'd hammer in the evening. I'd hammer all over this land if I had a hammer. I believe But see, you. my flat tire wasn't because I had a nail in it or hit anything sharp. Because I had been having a problem for a while where I had to... Constantly, every Just couple weeks. Handle pressure. Well, every couple. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Helen, Helen, <laughs> Helen. Still not the science guy. <laughs> it. Um. I had to keep pumping up the pumping the up every couple weeks. Yes. Yeah. And after that flat, we figured, okay, there's a nail in it somewhere, or nail came out. So yeah, took it in. And they're like, mm, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> so they was scrolled. it Jay Leno? It's like, nothing wrong with it. Yeah. No, 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 there's nothing wrong with it. They were all just <laughs> balloons. <laughs> <laughs> there was like a birthday party, so they're just all sucking helium and then all day. And they just float away. <laughs> Where? <laughs> yeah, I was Beaker. Where did that what conversation tire place? <laughs> Do you go to he where, tires. where they the car just oh, floats okay. away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's a car shaped balloon. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. then happened again because the, in, in the, the other... flailing arm thing that they have outside, it's an actual guy for this place. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. <laughs> before my tire went flat, we'd taken it to our car dealer and they yeah. did the test. They're like, mm, nothing wrong with it. <laughs> so then finally <laughs> took it back one last time after it started deflating again. They're like. Oh yeah, there's like this little green piece of, you know, some kind of piece of paper from like when the tires were, when I first purchased those tires. Oh, I was, was going to say, between... I thought that was what was causing the problem. Like, oh, your tire's flat. There's a green piece of paper stuck well, in it. They didn't. They... It's a $5 bill. <laughs> right? We're going to keep that. It's a $500. <laughs> it was in between the rim and the tire part, and it was so tiny, just this little tiny strip, and it was letting out the littlest bit of air. Oh, that's and weird. Bizarre. Yeah, and they took it out, and my tire was fine. But then a couple weeks later is whenever I almost died. 
So then my parents are like, let's get you new tires. You know, <laughs> when I said I spun out in that intersection, yeah, it yeah. was literally a foot away from hitting a car just like yep. mine. Yep. Yeah. So then my parents are like, let's get you new tires. I said, okay. Yeah, tires. Now, was the spinning out, was that just from bad tires or was there like snow or something? It had been raining. It okay. rained that morning, but it wasn't raining when yeah, this happened. Had... But shit was wet. And I was turning left at, the, so the light turned yellow, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to go quick. Fuck turning this left shit. at the intersection, and I did a 180. Woo. And I couldn't stop spinning. So all <laughs> I, I could. I was turning the wheel. All yeah, I could. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. All I. Uh, <laughs> all I could do was just turn the wheel the opposite direction yeah. that my yeah. car was going. And when I stopped, the guy in the car I almost hit was just looking at me like, huh. and, I, and my face was just like, I'm sorry. I thought today and was going to be the day. Looks like it's but the he didn't even look scared. Like, you know, where, where a guy should have been like, oh, no. He was just I like. I thought I wouldn't uh, have to go to Walmart and buy the rope after all. <laughs> he was just like, uh, and, I'm, and I just mouthed to him. That's really bad. I know. I just mouthed to him, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then I, I, the wheel. And I, and I backed up and, and went hit to school. <laughs> <laughs> I backed up and went forward instead. Yeah. Oh, man, Speaking that of, funny. like, the, like, the, you want to go back and you can't, like, the. You want to back up? When yeah. I, I went to the park one that day. Would be transmission. I went to the park one day. I, In the very, I, very month of May? Yeah. <laughs> were you taken by surprise by a pair of beady eyes? I was. Oh, yeah. So I park, and my window is cracked a little bit. And I see a guy uh, out of the corner of my eye, and I just hear, Can you help me? Oh, I remember the story. And I go, What? And he starts walking away. And I get out of the car, I'm like, I, I didn't hear you. What? And he's like, I can't go backwards. Can you push my car? And I go, no. Those two things are completely <laughs> No. Like, I just can't walk backwards. <laughs> Seven, no, why? <laughs> and then another guy, another guy pulls up to the park, and he parks a couple feet away, and before the guy even gets out of his car, this kid goes up to his driver's side like, I can't back up. Can you help me push my car? Probably scared the shit out of that <laughs> old guy. Jesus, out of him. Don't mind the knife. And then he doesn't, and then he doesn't Let even... Let him just, like, widen his eyes as far that as they face. go. Yeah. But he gets out of the car, and he starts talking to me, and I'm like, it's not my car. <laughs> Mine's fine. It's his. <laughs> he even, he went forward so, like, it's the, the front parking lot in the okay. park, and there's those cement benches, yeah. like, along by the okay. baseball field. I'm guessing he was the one who did it, but there was a bench just pushed over, just like someone went up to him and went, meh. <laughs> but there was like no dent in his car or anything, but the bench was just pushed forward. That was probably him realizing, I can't go backwards, <laughs> yeah. because I'm going forwards in reverse. But like I said, there was, no, there was in no mark. He's in reverse, but he's going forward. Oh, okay. But there was no mark in his car or anything, but the bench was forward. Hmm. And I feel like he would have had to have more than just like inching forward to be able to push that bench. I don't know. I don't know. The first, one of the first times I ever went driving with my license. With my car. Uh, I, me and this really obnoxious girl in my high school was, were like, we need to go job hunting together. Oh, I was like, what? what? Okay. <laughs> Is that a thing? Is that a thing that people do? It was at the time. Okay. Um, there's a lot more to that, but I won't go on with explaining that. But we were, we were at a gas station, and she got a call... From her dad, and was was talking to him on the phone. I was driving, and I was just pulling out, and this guy came right up. As I was pulling out, this guy came racing up, and he, like, slammed on his brakes as I was pulling out. And he just, like, laid on his horn, and I, I saw him, like... In, I, I saw him in the car, and he was, like, doing all these hand gestures and getting really Spaghetti loud. Up. And his, okay. I guess his wife next to him was, like, trying to console him. And as this was happening, this girl in, in my passenger seat was screaming, just like, Daddy, I'm gonna have to go. I just saw my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went home because I was mad. Why did the guy flip? What did he think? Good he ending, by the way. He was and very, then we went home. And he got very angry that he, he, I guess he thought I was pulling out in front of him as he was just racing up. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it was guy. probably my fault. People but I don't know. can be dicks. Yes. People Easily. is dicks. People is dicks. That would be a good shirt. People is dicks. Yeah. 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 But yeah, um. I will. Well, that was, I had said, this, by, that was I, said by Jack. I had a weird train of thought the other day. Okay. 
and was I, that a train and that came my up? thought was it would be Trains. really cool to like if we were doing a giveaway of some kind it'd be like you know, you know the best fan art wins like a hundred dollars or maybe a shirt or like like a shirt with a twenty dollar bill stapled to it <laughs> or a shirt that has a sh- picture of a shirt with a twenty dollar bill stapled to it like that, that would be cool honestly I want a shirt that the picture on that shirt is a shirt with a $20 bill stapled <laughs> to it. It makes no sense, period. No, there, the, the explanation as to why you're wearing that shirt yes. would be like 20 minutes long. Yes. Yeah, I would I'd love it. it, though. I'd love I'd it. Wear it. Exactly. So would I. So would so, I. So, shall we... Shawshank Shash, Shash, Shash. Redemption. Before we get... I know what you're going to talk about. Okay. I just want to say one thing about okay. my, uh-huh. my car shot. Robot experience. Wars. Oh, okay. Just real quick. One the, the worst thing that happened while I was out car shopping, I'm looking at getting a Forester... That's, cool. That's that's. I can't. I haven't yet. T- What's that look like? Mine, but bigger. <laughs> ah, okay. it's a cro- mine. It's a crossover. Right? Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Mainly, what? I want a crossover because it has all-wheel drive, mm. and I've had too many bad snow experiences. <laughs> yeah. To deal with that, you anymore. definitely want all-wheel. That's a good idea. So yeah, I'm looking to get a Forester. I haven't test drove it, driven it yet, even though I went to several dealers. Yeah. Just through one circumstance or another, I haven't been able to drive one. Ugh. The weirdest and dumbest one of all, we went to Faulkner Subaru in Carfax? Harrisburg. By the way, yes, I have. I have. They they didn't have any really? at the time. They have didn't you have, tried? They didn't have any in the, on the lot. We don't have Street, any yeah. in stock. We gotta compel, We I, gotta place an order. I'll only go to Craigslist if there is literally there if there are literally no foresters in the state. Or yeah. if you're looking to have your dick sucked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can't really trust that, can you? Yeah. No. Well, what's the what's the other one? Cars.com. I don't know, but regardless, I, I'm I'm still like in the early stages of shopping. Yeah, so yeah. This yeah, has yeah. only been a week and a half. Yeah. About. Oh, oh, okay. So, so we went to this Faulkner Subaru place in Harrisburg. By the way, fuck you, Faulkner Subaru. You suck. Fuck you, Faulkner. Um, and we went there. It's really, Faulkner's is Subaru. <laughs> That's basically what she just said. <laughs> we went there and like we got we grabbed the first dealer we could find, and we were like, "Hey, yeah, <laughs> they grabbed him." Just, just about because it was right after working. We were, uh, my stepdad and I were both really tired. Yeah. yeah. So we like we were like just. You just picked him up and threw him. Well, yeah, car. Yeah, he, yeah, right. That's pretty much it. And he's like, all right, I think I can help you with that. And he, like, takes us into his office, yeah. cubicle thing. And we're just, we just say to him, like, all we want to do is test drive a Forester. And he's like, well, <laughs> well. that's a great start. Well. He, starts, he proceeds to go on this, like, 30-minute tangent in which he just explains to us about how they tried very hard to be honest, and he's only been working here for two months, and he's like, I went here before, and I really liked it, so I decided to join the team. Oi. And I'm like, okay, but we want to test drive a car. And he's yeah, like, your well, story has nothing to do with my car he's driving. He's like, well, if you're looking to buy the, 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 uh, the, the <laughs> cars on the lot changes from day to day, so I don't know if I can help you. I'm like, no, we just want to fucking we test just drive. Want to test drive a car. We're not buying today, and he yeah. just didn't get it. Wow. And eventually, wow. he's like, Okay, I think I, I understand what you're saying. I totally understand. I'm just gonna... I'm talking entirely with my bottom job. I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get out my, my list of cars on the lot, and we're gonna see what we can see. And so he takes out this entire... This giant piece of paper. And it's like, a photo <laughs> album. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Mem- it says <laughs> memories on the front. <laughs> list of cars. He's like, he's asking me what I want in, like, in a car. Like, if there's anything you actually have... We told you what we so, wanted! Yeah. yeah. And he's like, all right, I think there might be one Forester on the lot. I'm going to go check. Yeah, we he saw has, it. He has the paper in front of him. He still doesn't know if there's one there. So he goes to ask somebody if there's one there. God. This is like minute 40. Is this Gomer Pyle <laughs> that you're dealing with here? I don't know who that is, but I'll say yes. Okay. Cool. So he comes back about five minutes later. He's like, all right, we have one out there. So we go outside. There's a forester. In- there's, just, there's just a there's an empty space in the parking lot. Oh no! <laughs> it's almost that bad. Oh, we go out there. There's a forester sitting in the park in the parking lot. And he's like, "All right, let's do a test drive." And he's like, he unlocks the car. He opens up the door. He's like, "Oh, this is manual. This is full of bees. <laughs> <laughs> this is manual transmission. I guess I can't help you today." I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? What? He's like, I'm sorry, I couldn't help you, but. This is manual transmission. You say you can't drive that. I'm like, no, I can't. Uh, like, well, guess that's all I can do for you today. Can any of us drive manual? What's that? Can any of us? Uh, well, I can't. You said you, yeah, I can't. 
Yeah, I can't. Well, I, there you go. I never learned. Mm. I, I, I never did. Uh, no one... My dad hasn't had a car with a manual since to? I was yeah, exactly. little. Yeah. So I but didn't. this this Forester was 2009. Why would you have a Subaru Forester with manual transmission? Yeah, that's true. Uh, Wes's car is, what, like five years old, and he's got manual. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. He wanted the mo- I feel like... He even has wind-up windows. He wanted the most... That's true, he does. He wanted like the most basic car he could I feel get. Like yeah. that's just that's just like... And his is a Kia. Yeah. I, I did go to a Kia <coughs> dealer, too. Ugh. But yeah, it's either a Forester or a Tucson. Mm. In my top choice. Well, I can help nice. you hunt. I'm good at hunting. Check Arizona. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Have you tried? Well, where I take my car to get fixed and stuff, the um, it's called Ren Kirby. Yeah, I haven't so been there. I know where it is, but I haven't been there. You could always. Ch- I mean, they always get. New cars in. Like I said, still in the very early stages of shopping. Yeah. I know, I know. It was really funny, though. I'm, this is the last thing, and then we'll move on to oh. the uh, Good, we were talking cars for 30 minutes. I know. <laughs> I just want to say, wow, really? say this real quick. I went to go test drive in Tucson. The guy was like, all right, we have a, a new one out here. You oh, this car is full of bees, too. <laughs> you can go and... You, this car doesn't drive. have a steering wheel. <laughs> this was right after we went to the crappy Faulkner place. The crappy... The creep crappy Faulkner place. Creep Faulkner. And this guy was much more helpful. He had me sit in the car, and he's like, all right... He gets in the gets in the, <laughs> yeah, passenger sit in the car. You can sit it. You can't turn it on, but you can sit it. What do you think? He, he you gets want it? in the passenger seat and he's like, "All right, so here we got the the uh, the all wheel drive button. You got over here. You can uh, shift the <laughs> it's like the omnidirectional uh, switchy for the the seat. You can ch- change it any way you want. You can change the level and the position of the steering wheel. You can put it upside you can down. Flip it around 180 degrees. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know why you oh. want to do that, but you could. <laughs> you can oh, drive right. with the wheel behind you. Over, yeah. over here, you got your snow button and your rain button. Okay, over here, you got your FM tornado button. button. Over here's the cl- here's the clear sunny weather button. And here's the tornado button, the yeah. hurricane yeah. button, yeah. bees oh. button, <laughs> the bees button. <laughs> so we already pushed that one. <laughs> we might have to reload that one. <laughs> Uh, over here's your FM1 radio and FM2, and then there's AM, and then you've got three stations. There's PM radio. over here. <laughs> you got all. You got your really complex and convoluted air conditioning and heated system. Okay, it's a literal that. puzzle box. <laughs> and here's the convict button. Here, and he just he's just like listing all of this stuff. And remi- reminder, I have a 2002 Saab that's very simple in its design. I'm sitting there going, nobody can live at this speed. <laughs> here, this is a CD player. Uh, it's literally a Rubik's Cube. If yeah. you want to put that together. Good luck with that. That'll be fun, yeah. Also, fuck you. It's also covered in bees. <laughs> <laughs> Here at Hyundai, we like to cover lots of things in bees. Not really sure why. It must be a Korean we'll thing. We just slather it with honey and just let it go. <laughs> People don't understand. One of the most... One of the most... <laughs> One of the most rudimentary oh Korean customs is that they have to cover everything in bees. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just slather the bees. What oh, the fuck crazy was North that Korea. <laughs> I don't know, but it should be animated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess yeah. So. yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, there was there was, the, there was oh just, hell there was too the much bees. to handle in that car, <laughs> the including bees the bees. Buttons. <laughs> Somebody's already pushed that one. <laughs> okay, so reload the bee box. Let's let's <laughs> let's shift gears, if you will. Ah, let's, let's talk machines for a little let's bit more. Let's shift though. bees. Do you know how imminent robot wars are? <laughs> No. All right. So this is a story I didn't read too much into. Lovely lady. That requires a high five. Well done. Well done. So I didn't read much into the story. High five ever. But here's what I know. I tried. Um, Apparently, an American company that is working on like mech robots. um, Mech robots. (laughs) (laughs) I would see. It's just as I was saying earlier. Eric has great improv eventually. Listen. Anybody listening to this who knows JonTron, which better fucking be most of you, yeah. Somebody, please draw me the Ech robot. <laughs> it's a mech robot, but it's JonTron. Wait, Casey can do it. I can try. You could, it. yeah, but I'm I'm else I'm, can't do I'm it. bringing this challenge to anybody because I'm always trying to figure out how to incorporate the people who listen a little more. Yeah, they I want to see fan like to art. Do, they don't like to participate. Very they really much. don't, yeah. except for. Ah, shit, hold on. I'm going to look it up. Somebody a- commented on our kitten video. Yes. Oh. I can't, I want to remember whose name this person I was. I see that. It's like three words. It's something about unknown and music. Yeah. Unknown s- music. Asian. I don't know. Yeah, that was it. No, that's <laughs> not it. Anyway, so basically what went down is this 
company that builds this American company that mm-hmm. builds mech robots. Yes. Looked to this Japan company that builds mech robots and said, "Our robot can kick your robot's ass." Oh God. And Japan said, "Bring it the fuck on." <laughs> so that's awesome. Some point in the near future, we will in fact be seeing. A giant mech designated unknown music. That's who it is. Thank you for commenting. Please do that more often. Um, I'm, I'm yeah, glad that... We will be seeing giant robot versus giant robot in the best ba- battle bot season ever <laughs> quite I'm, I'm soon. I'm glad that that's in our future because I watched V for, for Vendetta yesterday. Oh, okay. And now I'm terrified to go outside. <laughs> I've you never came seen outside it. to come here. I did, and it, it was, was very, very it was a very risk of my health. Yeah, a it was very a very risk. Oh, it was very a risk. Yeah, very a risk. That that movie's terrifying. Such risk. Oh, absolutely. Did you know that they moved the the uh, <laughs> Gettysburg reenactments this year? Yep, it's in August. Yeah, mm. it's because everywhere's too wet to do anything. That's a yeah, dumb. Do, it do makes they, sense. That's though, a dumb excuse. They even closed down the carnival. It's been. It's well. It's. Someone made a point that made sense to me. I mean, it would fuck up the battlefields real hard. It would not. Fu- they don't do most of the reenactments on the battlefield. I don't think they're allowed to, except like doing marches. That's most. Dumb, then. Most of the reenactments are done on people's private farmland. <sighs> like there's one on Table Rock Road that they yeah, do it on, yeah. and it's a guy's farmland. Well, that's dumb. So you can. I mean, well, you can understand though. No, I know. I, I no, I mean that. I mean, but I. I mean, it's dumb that they moved the reenactments. I mean, it's it's fucking war. Yeah, it's oh, fake yeah. ass war, but it's still war. But it is people's farm property yeah. and how they make a living. But they weren't going to do that for the real fucking war. So you're like, hold on, hold your fire, everybody. This grass is kind of soggy. We can't we fight can. on July. 1st. Well, I know they yeah. couldn't do it. For- Some somebody might get hurt. We don't want that. Yeah. Can everybody reconvene in, like, a month? Are we still going to hate each other then? I just wonder if they're even going to be able to have it in like, August, because, I mean, I, literally, I it's rain every day. It's or been, they'll skip a day and then fucking downpour I, on the next day. I, half of, half of June and half of July has yeah. been the great month-long yeah. summer, summer thunderstorm of 2015. The yeah. rain? It's the, been nothing but clouds for a month. Yeah. The <laughs> crazy rain started, like, the week of my party. Yeah. That's when it started. Because it was supposed to rain the day of my party, and that didn't happen. Luckily. Not like that mattered. Yeah. Yeah, it was cloudy all that day, though. It was. And I was so worried about rain coming, but then it just went... Speaking of your party, let's get on Yeah, let's talk about that, (laughs) shall we? So, you guys talked about it a little bit last week. I'll hear about that. (laughs) Once I describe the details, you die... Dies... You guys don't know about. It yeah, most of the time we dead, just accumulate dead. ourselves to either the the beer pond area yeah. or the pool, or the soft pool, table. or yeah, or, <laughs> or the soft pool. I love the picture I have of you and Amber. Oh, uh, yeah, just like I peeking want, out. Well, I want I, that as my my. Uh, I cover have it. Photo. It's my, the yeah, whole the pool. Photo. It's the whole pool. But I zoomed in because you guys, it was just your eyes and then like the bridge of your nose and then the edge of the pool. Yeah, yep, you need to yep. show. You need to send me that. I, I want that. It's very nice. So, here were the events of the night. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's even... Oh, well, that's the later events. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll throw up now. <laughs> <laughs> so... Visual representation. The party started at 6, did the podcast beforehand. Yes. I didn't start drinking right away. It was about 6.30 once um, a bigger group of my friends showed up. Then I, then I got my first drink. So I had one, basic. Mm-hmm. I didn't make it very strong. Drank it pretty fast. Made another one. Again, didn't make it very strong. Chugged it. And by that point, I was feeling it because I didn't eat much that day because I was just running around oh, doing yeah. all the party shit. And I, just, I ate a little bit. So, again, forgot to eat. Yeah. And I said, I'm getting in the pool. And that's when I ran. That's, yeah, that's when that's when we saw you for the last time. Yeah, that's when I ran outside with my camera, and I only got two pictures, but I was like pushing the button a bunch of times. Yeah. It only took two pictures, and then <laughs> I handed the how does this work? I handed the camera off and flew into the pool. Yes, you did. You almost fell off the the, the ladder. Oh, the ladder. That's the no most... going in. I was fine. I remember that. It's just the ladder is so wobbly. Yeah. I, I'm terrified mm-hmm. of the ladder. That's why I, I thought jumped Rolf's out. Going to kill himself. <laughs> That's why I jumped out over the edge. I'm terrified thought, of that ladder. I huh? thought it was you, but it might have been somebody else who got on the ladder and was on their way up, and then it started f- like falling to one side. And it wasn't until about 45 degree angle that they realized that they were falling. It's probably <laughs> rolled. It might have been. Rolled. I don't it, it wasn't me. I know how to. The problem is, whenever you... it's Getting in the pool, it's fine. It's yeah. just shaky. But when you get out of the pool, 
and you step over to the side that's outside the pole, the inside part starts to slide. Yeah. I can't... How do I describe that for the viewers? Like it, uh, It's like it comes out from underneath itself. It slides on one hinge. And, it, and you feel like you're just suddenly going to jolt forward, but then it stops. So I just jump out over the edge. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, I so... I did that half the time anyway. <laughs> so I'm in the pool, and I yell for my friend Kayla. I'm like, Kayla! Kayla! Uh, make me an alcohol. And she's like, what do you want? And I said... One say, alcohol, please! I was like, just a vodka <laughs> with... <laughs> vodka with cranberry juice. I don't know how strong she made it. She probably didn't make it too strong. Or so did she? I... She could have. I don't know. There was probably date rape in there. Probably. No one Kayla. Sorry, Kayla. Not like you listen. Why did we invite Bill Cosby to the party? <laughs> Can I hey. interrupt real quick? Wait, no, I just I saw a turned picture. into fought. I the, saw a picture hey. today where it was an evening with Bill Cosby, and it's a time frame of 7.04 to 7.09. Oh. It's five pictures of the same picture of Bill Cosby, just they're blurrier. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a really funny picture. Of Bill Cosby. Where of a Bill Cosby. It was... Uh, oh, Bill Cosby! It was, I think it was, like, the Lakers at a, at a basketball game, and the one guy was doing a layup, <laughs> but they replaced his... They put Bill Cosby's head on it, and then on the other side of the... Of, like, the direction where he's shooting, it's just, like, a drink, and there's, like, a pill dropping into it. <laughs> 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 it looks great. That's funny. So, she made me a drink. I downed that really quickly. I don't know what I did with my cup. Never did find my cup. It had little babies at the bottom of it. Well, kids it at the bottom. It had little babies. It had kids at the bottom. I don't know where my cup went. Yeah. I get out of the pool. Let's clarify that you're talking Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. kids. I put yeah. little kids in my drink. Yeah. Shrunk them down. Yeah. Candy sized. And first they're sour, then they're babies. So, <laughs> whenever I jumped out over the edge of the pool, I remember hearing, Erica, what are you doing? And I'm like, this is how I get out of the pool. I hate the ladder. And I run up to the porch, because... My friend Jeremy was lighting the uh, bug candles, mm-hmm. and I said, let me get my lighter. So I run in the house, and it was one of those, like, um, it's... it's You breathe on it, and it's like Dalsian from right? Street Fighter. It wasn't like regular lighter with the switch. It was one of the longer yeah. ones. And yeah, flame thro- I had a flamethrower, <laughs> and I get it. I'm like, I'm going to light the candles, and Kayla took it from me. She's like, no, you're not. No, yeah. But I apparently... This you're going to light something. And it's this not, is whenever... You're already lit, but you're going to light... <laughs> this is when my memory goes blank. So yeah. everything from here on out are accounts other people have told me. I have no memory. To quote, None of it. To Even quote being to- Williams, it's like drinking liquid unconsciousness. Yeah. Even being told what happened, I'm still like... <laughs> Did you listen to, you listen to last week's podcast, right, where we talked it. about it? Okay. No. I'm going to tell you, I knew that you had issues at one oh, point yeah. where you were throwing up in the grass, and yes. I walked over to you, and I said, Erica, are you sick, or are you at blat levels? And you gave me the most, <laughs> like, pathetic, blat. <laughs> you were out. All right, see you later. Well, I, so you were out there on the grass for like hours. Yeah. Oh, I know. Just yeah. sitting there. So this is what happened in between. You guys are gonna love it. Let me just crack my knuckles. So apparently, after know. that, I put all the candles out. I put all the candles out in the yard, and then I started hanging lanterns. Okay. And then I go inside. I'm still in my bathing suit. And I have my towel wrapped around me. And Kayla and Chris and Jenna come inside, and Jeremy and his sister were inside. And I run back to my room, and earlier that day I'd gone out to the outlets, and I bought this necklace that I really wanted. I run out to them and go, I go, Jeremy, look at this dress I bought. (laughs) And he goes, that's a necklace. necklace. And I go, I know, look at it. Isn't it cool? (laughs) And then his sister goes, that's an awfully slutty dress. Does it come in other colors? And I'm like, yeah, they also had blue. <laughs> and then... And it was blue. No, my necklace was orange. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. And Jenna put the necklace on, and I have a... She took a picture of me next to her, and I have, like, my finger up to my mouth, and my eyes are huge. I'm just like... <laughs> and then, I don't know... And then know, she got naked. And then, I don't know where the <laughs> necklace went, and then I started pulling all the jello shots out of the fridge. Uh-huh. All of them. I pulled out, and there was... A good 50 at this point. And Who I, wants to do necklaces? <laughs> and I had, a, I had a list on the fridge of what color was what flavor. I hold up a blue. I go, this is strawberry. <laughs> Sets it down. I pulled up the pineapple. I go, this is blue raspberry. Set it down. Holds up the red one. This is strawberry. <laughs> 
I held up. You the, got that one though. I know. They were like, "Oh, good job." I held up the red, uh, another red. This is yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and then I started handing people jello shots. Like, you have this yellow one, which was blue. <laughs> you have the red one, which was green. We didn't even have a green. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> it, it tastes like brown. Yep. And then, I, don't, I don't want anything to taste It like tastes brown. like this couch that we're sitting yeah. on yeah. right and now. And then yeah. I decide I'm going to get dressed. So I go down the hall and I drop my towel that was around me. I go, I dropped my top. And then I got naked. And they go, Erica, that's your towel. And I'm like, I know. I don't have my top on. So I get in my room and Kayla's trying to help me find a shirt. And they're looking, they didn't know my shirts were in my closet, so they're looking through you're the hold, drawers. You're holding them up. This one's pineapple. <laughs> so then I. This throw, one's a towel. I throw open my closet doors and just pull out a shirt. When I looked in my closet the next day, the hanger was like upside down, flipped up backwards because of how fast it's like just, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah. And just how, <laughs> how I yanked it out. That and was pretty good. I get the shirt on and I just started undressing with the door open. So Kayla and Chris stand at the door so no one looks in. And I get the shirt on, and I still have my swimming trunks on. I come out to Jeremy with a pair of shorts. I'm getting I'm getting <laughs> <laughs> I come out to Jeremy, and I go, and with these shorts, I'm like, I can't get this on my head. And then he's like, it's shorts, Eric. I'm like, I know. Help I me know, get them on. I know, it's too small. I <laughs> and I'm trying to put the leg over my head. I'm like, I can't get this shirt on. So finally, I got... The shorts on. We missed a lot. Yeah, yeah, we really did. And so I got shirt and shorts on, and I don't have a bra on or underwear. I just have short and shirts on. So I got partially clothed. Ooh. Short and shirts on. Yep. Short and shirts. Who and then wears short shirts. <laughs> and Chris and Erica Kate, barely does. Apparently, and in the process of getting me dressed, I'm going around my room and I'm not speaking English. Chris, the only co- the only comparison she had was I was speaking German. Because I was making no sense. It was just like, <laughs> and the only the German sounds like the only, <laughs> the only English he can. <laughs> the only English Whoa. I could say was I understand. <laughs> I understand. So Kayla grabs a hold and she goes. Emma so grabs. is there a limit to your drinking where you become German? Yeah. Well, apparently... You're no longer Erica Swiger. You're once again Erica Swiger. Erica Swiger. <laughs> well, what I actually... <laughs> I dinger. What I missed was apparently as uh, soon as... Swedish. As soon oh. as I got out of the pool, or I made I made myself another drink, so heaven knows what, what I put in, in that, it. The yeah. last I saw... That was gasoline. Well, that was so, pure gasoline. So the, I'm dressed now, and Kayla, she holds on to me. She's like, Erica, you need to eat something. And I go... I understand. Did nothing about it. Do we have any more Jello shots? (laughs) And Sarah's food. Sarah's like, "I'll make you a grilled cheese." And I go, "Blue's a flavor." (laughs) It is a flavor. And I go, "Grill me a cheese." And I go, "I understand." So Kayla, let's go. My shoulders. She and you just drop. (laughs) No, she turns around and I bolted for the door. Grill me a cheese. I just, I just left the kitchen to walk outside and she grabs me, pulls me back into the kitchen. The second she lets go of my hand, I'm going back out the door. I she, want a soft pool. <laughs> so finally, I ended up They're eating delicious. the grilled cheese. They sat me down in the yard and then they get me a bottle of water. And they're... They're, they're feeding me the water. And every time I get it in my mouth, I go... <laughs> and spit it everywhere. I spit it all over Chris. I had... I finally was drinking it then and then i was spitting on myself and i had i was going like and i had drooled down my face they were wiping that off my face and then finally i i guess i don't know if wes showed up before i threw up no he showed up about 10 minutes before your friend came out and said the party's over okay yeah or like 10 i'm sorry like 10 minutes after and he was very disappointed oh i know yeah i that's why i felt so bad like i sent him a huge apology he's like fine it's okay i I understand i understand i understand so you know, you're going to soft food. And I didn't realize I didn't put two and two together. I knew what I I was told what I said to him, but I didn't put two and two together okay. until last night. So I'm laying in the yard and Wes comes up and he goes, Happy birthday. My response to him I understand was Thanks, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't put that two and two together last night until I told Amy, I'm like, I said thanks, Steve <laughs> to Wes. <laughs> So you put two and two together and got. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I'm thrown up in the yard. I got what? it on my arm. It was in my hair. So then they put my hair up in this put my hair <laughs> and a huge bun on the side of my head. 
Mm. And then, so I'm, they finally, I don't know how they got me up. Kayla said, Erica, we need to get you inside. I put my arms out and my head's just I down. saw this moment. Yeah, we, we all saw this. Yeah. And they try to pull me up and I'm not even trying. I'm just like, ugh. And they get me inside. Your, your face, by the way, as they were walking you inside, you were falling over all over the place. Of course. It was quite an endeavor getting oh, yeah. you up those stairs. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, your face looked like you had just had it for, uh, had enough of everybody's shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. You were just like, eh. <laughs> yeah. So they get me inside. They lay me on the. They Her get face me on the like couch. The color of this couch. Yeah. <laughs> and they were to the point where they were about ready to take me to the emergency room. So yes. they actually called the hospital oh, to wow. see what to do. And they're like, "Well, we can't tell you anything unless we examine her." Apparently, oh, they were real assholes about you. it. <laughs> yeah. I'll so fuck you. they were Chris and Kayla. They got my bag. They were going to take me until Jenna's like, "Hold on." And she grabs my shoulders. I'm sitting on the couch. She goes, "Erica." Do you want to go to the emergency room? Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm shaking my head. Are you sure? Do you feel okay? Uh huh. You don't want to go to the emergency room? Uh uh-uh. uh. And I'm so glad they didn't take me because just going to the emergency room alone is $200. Right. Let alone yeah. what they would have done. Yeah. America. So they laid me on the couch. They put a blanket over me. And at this point, Your they were head saying. Was in a trash can. Yeah, they were yeah. saying, everyone. Get out. Leave. We might have to take her to the hospital. So everyone left. And I felt so bad for Wes, because I know he had like an hour drive. I felt bad for Rolls. He did not Oh, apparently Rolls, they said Rolls was drunk. He was fine. Yeah, he was fine. Yeah. They just said they saw him drinking a lot, so they weren't sure enough. Right. I don't know. Meaning they saw Rolls. Yeah. (laughs) And I was like, he's a huge guy. He can handle his liquor. And apparently he offered to drive Jenna and Gabby home. Yeah. Well, she asked. Yeah, she asked him. Oh. Yep. They said that he just offered, and then they were like, wait, no, never mind. Because then... Rolls is a little pissed at them. Yeah, he he's very, actually. Yeah. Why? Cause well, because whoever, the, whatever the Jenna, fuck her name Jenna. was, said, I'm having a, a birthday party next week. Name and she dropping. said, Rolls, would you like to go? And he said, she's like, yeah, I need, sure I need a shot, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She was, she's like, I could out drink anybody. Uh, well, she here. was, she and was, Rolls uh, said, um, excuse me. She <laughs> was, she was drunk that night, Miss? she said. <laughs> yes, she was. Yeah. Jenna was drunk. But, so, she, so, Rolls, I guess they friended each other on Facebooks, and then Rolls, like, a couple days before said, hey, am I still invited to this party? And then she unfriended him. So. There's a reason she, like, there's a reason she, she, there's a reason she didn't. It was just a misunderstanding. Okay. The day that gay marriage was legalized, he posted an article and said, there goes the neighborhood. Oh. Without, since she doesn't really know him, yeah. she took it as he was anti-gay. Uh, I'm like, okay. I'm like, guys, that's just his humor. And yeah. then they were like, oh, we didn't know that. But that. <laughs> well, now we can't we can fr- spread the word. him again. Tell him, tell him that was why, okay. and I explained it. But no, they, she just saw that. And I'm was sure like, he'll still think that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like I said, she didn't know. She doesn't know his humor. I'm like, that's just how he is. Yeah. But he meant no harm by it. He's all for it. And they were like, oh, okay, yeah, we didn't know that. Yeah. I was like, I understand. He'll understand if he hears it. But. So anyway, so after everyone left, and that's when Kayla, Kayla stayed with me. I got my head in the trash can. <laughs> Chris drives Jenna and Gabby home, drives all the way out to Sheets. No, she took Jenna with her to Sheets, that's right. And then drove back and had got, I don't know if they got food for me or they got it for themselves. And right. they stayed with me until 2.30 cool. feel the love. when I woke up. And my first question was, where is everyone? Because literally from the time I got out of the pool... Instead, my memory faded to 2.30. Nothing. So you needed that photo album that the car guy had. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh. I, I knew nothing. Everything I just told you is what they All told of your me. memories were in manual transmission. Yeah. That's why you didn't recognize But when I woke up at 2.30, I was fine. I sat up and I was talking and then I don't know where I was just like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> trash can. But that was the last time I threw up. Huh. And I found my pile in the yard the next day. It, was just, it looked like someone spilled red jelly <laughs> in the yard. <laughs> just like, oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that spot is still there. So, uh, what else did you guys see that I was not aware of? That's about it. The only oh. other thing that I saw was that uh, Amber wanted to go in the pool again, mm-hmm. like really late at night. Yeah. Uh, and Jenna also and Rolls was yeah. also there. Jenna's like, I'm gonna get in the pool. I don't have any swimming stuff, so I'm just gonna strip. So Sounds she, like Jenna. So I missed she, that. So she did and just collapsed into the pool. Well, not quite. She, Did she get completely naked? No. Oh, I was good. <laughs> no, I could... It, we weren't on that level quite okay. yet. Yeah. So maybe it's a good thing that you uh, you stopped the party. Mm-hmm. I didn't stop the party. They did. I was out. 
Well, you inadvertently stopped the party. I stopped the right. party. Yeah, yeah. Everyone else just declared it in words. Well, because well, you were saying it in German. Yeah, uh, right. Well, so that's a pretty conclusive end of the saga. So now it? you know what happened we know whenever... Just, we know just about every detail, I think. We do. Stick around later on in the months to see Erica's Drunk Memory Puzzle 2. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But this time, last time, as everyone told me the puzzle, I remembered it happening. Yeah, this year... I remember this. Yeah, last year I knew it. Once everyone told me, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember doing that. But this year... Huh. Uh-uh. Nothing. None Mm-mm. of that. What changed from last time to this time that made you decide, I'm going to drink a lot and not Jello. eat anything? I didn't realize... Well, see... It's Jello. I thought my... I told you Bill Cosby was there. I it's had no Jell-O. I had no Jello shots. I thought that what I had... I guess my Jell-O lunch, it was like... Pops. I ate my lunch at like 3 o'clock, and it was... It was... I thought it was pretty hefty, so it would hold me over until I decided to eat hefty, hefty, something. Hefty, hefty. So... <laughs> I knew that was coming. I thought I only had three drinks, but then apparently made a fourth, and the fourth is probably what did me in. Because uh, then at that point, I was too drunk to know what went, what I poured into yeah. it. Yeah. Huh. So. Okay. Yeah. Because my other one, if I would have stopped after the one Kayla made me, I probably would have been fine. Eat something, I would have been good. Yeah. It seems that I I, I've come to learn that I'm not as much of a lightweight as I thought I was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Because last, I think it was last weekend, when I went on the boat, I had five Bo- drink- I had five drinks and I was just like, Yeah, walking's a little hard, but aside from that <laughs> It also depends how much alcohol goes in each drink. Yeah. And the yeah. proof of the alcohol. Right. I guess so, yeah. There's a lot of qualifiers involved. But the first time the first time I ever drink, drank I got a lot First time I ever I haven't, drink I haven't ever crossed that border again. First time I ever drank drink. Because I had I had two um not not the little cans, but the tall cans. Of Four Loco. Loco. The mice. Right, yeah. I like oh, yeah. mice. Yeah. Mice. <laughs> Four Loco's Does not it bad. exist anymore? Mm-hmm. They oh, just, okay. they took the caffeine out of them. Oh, okay. They're not that bad. You can't sell them in Pennsylvania, but you can get them in Maryland. Really? I, yep. I had one in Florida. I, I had believe a blue raspberry Amish. one, and I thought it was pretty good. Florida? Florida. Okay. I yeah. thought it was Florida. Did I always you, say Florida. Did you I know. hear... Alright, so let's, let's, let's switch gears to, like, topical shit. <laughs> um... So the the, they took the Confederate flag Topical down lotion. from North Carolina? South Carolina. South Carolina. Like, they, they voted and they took that one they down? They took it off of the government building where it flew for over 50 years. There mm-hmm. was, I think it was 15 from what I heard. No, 50. Oh, 50? Well, then I'm stupid. Obviously. Uh, I was only off by an N. Okay. By a 1 and a 0. <laughs> no, just an N. I prefer to think of it that way. F- um, F-I-F-T-E-E. Yeah, 50. 50. 50. Yeah, see? That's how they spell it in South Carolina. Have you seen yeah, the exactly, where yeah. everyone, everyone there was cheering? You heard no one going, boo. Everyone was cheering? Yeah, exactly. Interesting. Well, here's, the, here's what I was going to say, because this is what Florida... I heard that there was, a, there was some... I don't know if it was like the state thing, or it might have just been a uh, like a county somewhere in Florida. Mm-hmm. They decided to give a big county. fuck you, and they voted to put the Confederate flag up. Like, it wasn't there before, and they're like, <laughs> we're going to put the Confederate flag up, I think. So that's what Why? they voted for, and it just passed. Because, because it passed Florida. with flying racist colors. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Well, you know what they say about Florida? Not Florida. Florida. It uh, sucks. The, the, the more north you go, the more south it gets. <laughs> yeah, and pretty that... much. Yeah. Where my ex's um, dad and uh, stepmom first they they moved houses where they first where they first lived. Yeah. Yes, that was the epitome of redneck Florida. Yeah, Florida's not Florida's not good. At, there's a reason it looks like it's, a wang. It's there's not a that. reason. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that reminds me of something. Oh, go for it. So, um, it's either pompous lipsticks. Or redneck dicks. Two podcasts yeah. ago, you told me about the Dead Authors podcast. Yeah, isn't that something? It it sucks sometimes. All right. But when you listen to the right episode, it's amazing. The L. Ron Hubbard episode, I told you, is there hasn't one been of the one funniest that things. That yet, but a couple of them have come close. Well, Jess found it because it was she saw this list that was like the top ten podcast episodes of anything ever, oh. and that was on there. She's like, I'll give it a listen. And, yeah, <laughs> it it's, might be good. It might be all right. Yeah, we'll see how good they are. So I listened to a couple of them, and there were some that were really, really good. Yeah, um, I think it was. Okay, it was Walt Whitman. That's the other one that we listened to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He at one point in the in the one in the, the he, podcast, he, he says could, nothing so well. Yeah, he this this man this whoever this improv guy is, he's very good at it. it. it yeah, 
um, you have to be really good at improv to make this show pulled off. Correctly. Yeah, exactly. I could never do something like that. I think I think it would be in our best interest if you did like the interviewer part and I did the interviewee part. Okay, yeah, I and could did probably some be sort of that. historical character. Right, right. I think that would be fun to do, just for fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, the Walt Whitman one. He compared, like, H. G. Wells goes, "What's your favorite state?" And he goes, and he just like goes into this long-winded explanation about how Tennessee looks a little bit like a dick. <laughs> and he compares Tennessee to sucking cock. <laughs> and it's amazing. The other one... We I didn't really... get that far into that one. Yeah, it, it's, it's great. <laughs> uh, the other one I really liked was Edgar Rice Burroughs. Okay. Who, if you don't know, wrote Tarzan. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I knew that name sounded familiar. Yeah, he's a very... I'm not a literary person, like, period. Well, that's <laughs> why I had to explain it. Yeah. Because I am. So, he's this very loud, boisterous guy from Chicago... And mm. he just he just constantly threatens H.G. Wells the entire time. <laughs> He's like, listen, I have a knife, and I carve into it every time I kill somebody. He's like, yeah, that's a very nice thing to do. He's like, you're next. <laughs> he, just, he just starts bashing on him and constantly threatens that's him. That's pretty funny. And the other one... It's a well-done show. It I, is. It, it's, if it's done right. Yeah. It, there, there's some brilliance behind the concept. The only other one I can remember that was really good was um, Arthur Conan Doyle, the guy who wrote Sherlock Holmes. Uh-huh. He's also very loud and boisterous, but he's Scottish. <laughs> so that's also good. And apparently, like, it's a winning in real combination. life, H.G. Wells and, and Arthur Conan Doyle knew each other. Oh. So they acted as if they knew each other. Oh, okay. So that got pretty interesting. Oh, okay. Hmm. But I imagine there are some episodes that are pretty yeah, big misses. I think, we, I, think I need to, to have you listen to a clip of the... the um... <laughs> Welcome back. The, the Edgar Rice Burroughs one, because that one's pretty great. Okay. Huh. Yeah, it, it's a pretty interesting podcast. It is. In my opinion. Yeah. It's, it's, and you know what? You guys should, you should really listen to the L. Ron Hubbard episode. It's something. It's, it's, oh my God. That man, whoever, whoever these improv comedians are. Well, you see. God damn. I, I have back problems because, uh, in a pe- previous life, Four quadrillion years ago, I was a stock car racer on Venus. <laughs> and I was racing two fine fellows. One of them was named uh, Glark, and the other one was named uh, Zorbon. And they, uh, they they crashed into me, and uh, I, I flew forward out into the out into space. And uh, from then on, I had all my li- lives after that. They all had back problems. <laughs> because animals. and correct me if I'm wrong, but. I don't think getting thrown out of a vehicle causes you to get back problems. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, yeah, the, you, you should listen to it. It's very other, funny. I want to know what kind of acid L. Ron Hubbard took. <laughs> Probably some really so good I want shit. That shit. <laughs> yeah, it's some good shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Not every episode is great. Yeah. Uh, there are only a very chosen few that are actually listenable. Hmm. Um, but there, he H.G. Uh, Wells always does a monologue before the, yes. the episode starts, and those are always good. Really? We yeah. skipped those. Cause she's like, this is kind of dumb. And we no, those them. are all good. Oh, okay. Like, he talks about one time he met Van Morrison <laughs> in, a, in a bar in 1975, and they just got to talking, and suddenly he, like, they, they get on, he said something that's in the lyrics of an actual song, uh-huh. and Van Morrison goes, that's it. <laughs> and he just goes running out, and he's like, I never saw that guy again, but I assume he's not doing very well for himself. <laughs> That's very clever. Erica is blowing her own hand, and I'm not. She had okay. pretzels. So oh. her too. Okay. I just wanted to throw that out of context and see what people would so say. the way the pretzels were. Well, that radio over there looks like a really happy bug. You know it does. <laughs> take a picture. You gotta take a picture I will, of that. Yeah. later. It does. It uh, seriously does. It looks like it's going. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, I play music. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, what do you think about the music? I'm think? a bug. Pet it. What do you think, David? But but but. Have we reached a point in the podcast where we're pretty much done with what we're I, saying? I got one other thing. Go for it. I want to talk about. So I hit a hundred followers. Oh, on, oh, that's on right. Twitch. We were going to talk about this. Yes, good for you. Uh, yeah. By the way, how long have you been doing it for? Four months. It's not too bad. 25 a month? Uh, that's yeah. good. 
I'm not I'm not streaming Ooh. nearly as much as I would because my other my streamer friend Hypothetical Tiger just reached 300. Ooh. And when I started, he was at like 75. Oh, okay. So and he's like he does it twice a day. Wow. Like several well, hours. that'll do it. I mean, well, that's 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 <laughs> that's part of the process yeah. is that the more you do it, the more people are going to but see. But I you. have for having only paint at my disposal. You do well for yourself. I, I I'm pretty good at it. I really like. I've made a, uh, a, a slideshow that I put at the top of my, the screen oh. that has all of my usernames for each platform: YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. That's pretty cool. I use Twitter now because I actually feel like I have a reason to use Twitter now. Well, that's true. Yeah, so if, if you, you don't have a reason to use Twitter, you shouldn't. No. It's dumb. Yeah, I don't. But I good got for it you. just to follow like two celebrities, and then realized I don't even want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, no. So, because you hit a hundred, yes, and you are Captain McMuffin, yes, Captain of, McMuffin of the yes of the of a McDonald's kind of namesake, yes. You ate a Big Mac for I the did, first time. For the first time. I haven't seen the video yet. Please tell me how this went. It was all right. Yeah. Yeah. I just I, can't believe you don't like cheeseburgers. I don't. I never have. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Yeah. I. The, the thing that that made it gross was that I I went to... I was coming home from work, because I had a half day. Uh-huh. And I went to Dillsburg, because it's in between where I work and my house. Were they having the pickle fest? It, no. Oh. Not okay. that time. Mm. Ugh. Uh, so, they, so, I went in there. It was really busy, because it was around lunchtime. Yeah. And I got it. I went home. I started streaming immediately, because I was like, I'm going to have this right as I get it. Yeah. And somebody challenged me to a race, and and I was like, a cheeseburger you... race? No, a oh, race okay. in in speedrunning Crash Three, oh. which I won. A nice. race to throw up. <laughs> and um, <laughs> good thing you so had a Big Mac. Like, I was like, well, I kind of have to eat this thing now, so could it wait? And he's like, I have no other time except for right now. And I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> so I we so do you the had race. a so you had a cold Big Mac. I had a cold Big Mac. Ugh. Well, that's not so. I had terrible. to heat, I had to heat it up. Yeah. Oh, then it got worse because you heated it then up. Then it got worse, yeah. I assume. Probably. Yeah. I smelled it the whole way. I, it smelled the way I described I it. I smelled I, it the whole way down. I, I did. I really did. My stomach smelled it and said, oh, what are you putting in me? <laughs> I I described it, and this isn't in the highlight because I wanted to make it a little shorter. Okay. I described it as if paint was edible, <laughs> that's what it smells like. <laughs> that what is pretty, yeah. Paint. Well, because when I had my tonsils out, I went on this medicine that I described as, uh... And it made me made me drink paint! I don't no, know! No, I described it as finger paint. It tasted like finger paint. Yeah, you know, that it, actually has a very distinct smell. Yeah, so yeah. imagine... No, I'm talking about, like, the... the and the medicine looked like I was drinking paint. piss. Yeah. That sort of paint. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Well, I, I knew what you meant. Wall paint. Wall paint. Yes. I guess that's the name for it. Oh, by the way, Erica, did I tell you that Jess and I, at, at their last Philly show, we went to Shake Shack? The place that we were debating on going to for like an hour, and then we the burger find place it. right on the yeah, corner, yeah, yeah. right there. Yeah, we actually we went there. Yeah, we could. It took us a while to find it, actually. Well, we saw it, and then no, Jess I'm saying when Jess and I were there, oh. it took Wait, us a while to go? find it. Um, I had another show in Philly like two weeks ago or so, oh. and Jess drove me down and. Oh yeah, that yeah. was uh, that was the night of Jenna's party. Her birthday. Yeah, I guess it was. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we went to Shake Shack then. It tastes like Wendy's Burger 3.0. Hmm. Basically, the burger tasted pretty much the same, but it's like a better bun, and I like yeah. the cheese a little more. Better quality. Other than that, it was just, you might as well just go to Wendy's and save five bucks. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I liked it, though. I mean, so, I might hit it up again. I know you like Wendy's, but there are a lot of people who don't. I love fucking Wendy's, dude. I like Arby's. If it's you don't like fucking... Wendy's, you're on american Or you work at McDonald's. Or you work at because McDonald's. when I was... Or you're Grimace. <laughs> when, I was in, when I was in high school... When I was a Grimace. There were a ton Even of the Burger King is like, yeah, fuck this shit. There were I'm a going ton to Wendy's. of people who worked at one McDonald's in Cross Keys. Okay. The, yeah. sa- the same one. They all worked in that same one. I know and they all mean. hated Wendy's. Mm. Just because it was across the street. I right, think. yeah, because it is I across love... the street. Because the they, yeah. like, one person in particular, I remember her telling me, like, yeah, Wendy's is definitely not as good for you as McDonald's burgers are. Well, first of all, no I burgers think it's are actually... good for you. Uh, well, mm, yeah, yeah kind of. I love not, Wendy's not cheddar mushroom, mushroom burgers. Uh, Wendy's does, doesn't fuck around. 
I, I actually did notice, though, when I was getting this. For, I don't think you guys have... Have you guys been to a McDonald's recently? I've been to a McDonald's in, like, I've ten years at least. I've been in one, but I've only got Well, no, coffee. that's not true, because when we used to do PTA, we'd go to a McDonald's. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fuck, I forgot all about that. I miss those days. Those were great. Yeah, I've only know, been right? in it to get coffee. I haven't actually had food at one in a long time. They, the, the Big Mac is still, like, the number one in the list of, of stuff. Yeah. yeah. But they don't have a picture of it. You don't need a picture of it. You know what the fuck it is. I just think it's funny. It's... It's not even, like, no picture. Yeah. It's a picture of two napkins and some crumbs. Yep. Yeah. I like that. That's weird. Yeah. McDonald's wants to start It's because the mice got to it first. Yeah. <laughs> McDonald's wants to start making the McLobster. Okay. Oh, that's... I will buy that. It's going to yeah, be a lobster roll. Yeah, I'm going to buy that. I don't that. know. It's, I love seafood. Love yeah. seafood. Me too. But yeah. I'm seafood. very picky about what restaurant I get it from. I'm very picky about my seafood. I'm not. I don't eat a like, lot of seafood. I would the only not... seafood that I don't like is right now is crayfish. I've never mm, had crayfish. Never had it. But I mean, I've never good. Shrimp got, are my jam. I've mm, never yeah. gotten any kind of seafood anything at a fast food place. Right. I just because don't trust it. Even no, Long John Silver's. Yeah. 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 Well, well, Long John it, Silver's isn't even fish. No. But, like, if I go... What is it? It tastes like chicken. Have you ever been there? No, I've it's never been fish. It's fake fish. It's like, very fake. Place it's like just Ruby straight Tuesdays mercury. or chilies yeah. or something like that. I'd eat fish from there. Chili's. But not fast food. <laughs> so I wouldn't get a lobster roll from McDonald's. I would do it just to film it. Yeah, that'd be something. <laughs> and you know? then to film you in the toilet. Yes, yeah, exactly. I, overall, I did... I would never have another Big Mac. Hmm. I can't yeah, it's death on a bun. It used yeah. to be a lot more calories than it is now. I remember it being oh, like course. over a thousand. It's yeah. now like five Actually, seventy or something like that. I saw a um, an article recently. It was the it was ten salads that are higher cal that have higher calories yeah. than Big Macs. Well, a mm. lot of that is dressing. Yeah, dressing choices toppings. mean a fuckload. Dressing oh, it will does. Fuck yeah. you up. And like, the toppings on it too. I was looking at dressings at work randomly because yeah. I got the calorie count on them so I'm like I gotta figure out what this is because I like ranch dressing and it's like 120 or something like that like oh well that's uh, that's kind of a lot let me see what these <laughs> how it compares to these other ones and I forget which one it was it might have been like balsamic ranch or some mm, fucking yeah. some some one that's I out there that. and it's like 15 oh shit <laughs> yeah the balsamic dressing I get is two tablespoons or 30 calories yeah, yeah. but my but I love Caesar dressing. My favorite mm. Caesar dressing is 150 calories. Oof. Yeah, for two I, tablespoons. I like ranch a lot, and that's like the worst one for you. It's it was like the second worst one out yeah. of the you six. You know, it's really gross. There's a I forget the name of the brand, but Giant has this brand of uh, dressings that are no calories. Really? Yeah. Is it an? Is, you just is squirt it, air yeah. on your salad? It's an empty, it's empty bottle. It's yeah. One of the most. I, but it's water. <laughs> It's water. Your spray. It's a spray bottle. It's not. Yeah. It, it's they. They took a spray bottle and they put it in the dressing aisle. They call we it fat it's, free, but it's literally, literally like no calories in it. It's like an, it, it's like a recycled Febreze <laughs> container. They just filled it with water and you just take it yourself and go. Tss, tss, but now those those dressings are delicious. Nasty. But yeah, absolutely. We, nasty. We, we talked about seafood just a couple of minutes ago. Right. One of the best, if not the best, thing I've ever eaten in my life. We went to Boston lobster once, mac and cheese because uh, my cousin used to live there. And we went to this restaurant alongside the bay. It was... I had this thing Alongside that was, Route 94 in Hanover. Uh, yeah. yeah. It was a long trip from Boston. It was a lobster. Uh, an entire lobster. Mm-hmm. Like, that. it didn't have... Like, the, the lobster was gutted out. Yeah. There was yeah. still lobster in it. Yeah. But it was filled mostly to the brim. Mostly. Mostly with crab, yeah. lobster... Scallops and shrimp all mixed in in like a, a seafood like salad. A tur- it's like Holy a turducken fuck. kind of thing. It was amazing. I bet. It was oh. $23, but it was amazing. I went to a place similar to what you're describing. It was right off the water and it was a seafood place. And I love fish and chips. Mm. And Fish and chips. I, 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 your biggest fish and chips. Who's your biggest thing in the world? I, I just fucking love fish and chips. That's the first thing I had when I got to Ireland. Huh? But fucking fish and chips, man. They had good stuff. The only thing Fish they and had. chips, man. That's the, the worst superhero ever. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> He's British. Throw some fish and chips, mate. Easily British, he just yeah. just throws fish and chips at you. You what, mate? And then squirts you with tartar sauce. You what? <laughs> what? You what? You what? 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 All right, it's what? about that time. Yes, what if? <laughs> what if you had your fish and chips? <laughs> what if every time you bent down, there was a nickel? Hood. 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 <laughs> My mom actually referenced that video. No once. shit. Really? Dinner once. She was like, what? 
Like an actual reference to it? Yes. Nice. I remember oh, I showed I it to her and she liked it a lot. Actually. I love that. What? What? Is it? I just thought of this in the middle of the podcast, so I'm going to ask you this now. Okay. Was the nickel thing funny enough to animate, do you think? The nickel thing. The thing when you bent down from, from a full standing position, if you oh. bent down, there was a nickel, how much money would you be willing to make in a day? I didn't have it written down, but maybe. Well, I'm, I'm asking because I don't remember how, like, funny it was, or if, if, I run if out it of is ideas, animatable. If I run out of Animated ideas and I'm doing the next greatest bits and I'm listening to it, and maybe. Well, I've always thought that that was a really interesting thought. Yes. Or, like, a dumb thought, but an interesting thought. Mm -hmm. But because that episode was so short and everything, it kind of got l looked over a little yeah. bit, you know? That, that episode actually has a lot of listens, though. I bet, because it's, it's, it's short. Yeah. I think, you know, that's the thing. Random thought to end this with. Did I ever tell you why cats meow? Go on. I bet you're going to tell us now. I'm going to. Right. You know that the cheetah is the biggest cat to purr? The bigger ones don't. Okay. Go on. Um, <laughs> cats only meow for two reasons. Well, meow at two different things. Their mothers when they're kittens. And, the, and um, humans. Uh-huh. If you ever notice when cats interact with each other, they it's just never like, it's like meow that chirping. Each other. Yeah, they just they never meow at each other. Yeah, it's a thing they do to call their mom or to just get humans' attention, just because that's how they were taught. Interesting. But they Weird. don't meow at each other. Huh? They'll hiss at each other. They'll at each other. <laughs> is, that, is that Morse code? <laughs> yeah. Or is it a remix? <laughs> Now we're just... <laughs> now we're just... This is CNN. <laughs> <laughs> I got a cat to do that, yeah. This is, yeah the, they... this is the Kazooie Network. <laughs> <laughs> but they never meow at each other. <laughs> that is, you know, when... After you hear that, you start to think about it, and you go, Fuck! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, that's, that's the I reaction that like, you have, yeah. And now, a word! Did you Fuck! Ever, did you ever, <laughs> it's a cycle. See you next time. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> did you ever realize that brownies are really just one big brownie? But up made, <laughs> made you think. With the crust on every side. <laughs> Say goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good Thanks for night. listening. Hey, 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 Ooh. hey, hey. If you guys really liked this episode, feel free to give us a like on the Facebook. On Groovecast Network? Is it Nation or Network still? What is it? It's either one. It's, oh, oh, both of them work? Yep. Oh, cool. So check us out on Facebook. And don't either. forget to draw the robot. Groovecast Net. Yes, draw the, 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 the ech robot. <laughs> mech robot. Yes, the mech <laughs> robot. Um, and check us out on YouTube, if that's not how you found this video. Uh, because we do a whole bunch of really other cool shit that I think you yourself. would love. If yeah. you enjoy us, you're going to love the other shit that we do. Oh, yes. And we might have, like, a group cast game day coming out somewhat soon. Yep. Five years I've, from now. Yeah, exactly. I have For a game 90. in mind. We just have to yeah, do it. something I want to talk to you about after the show, actually. Okay. So then let's wrap this up. Yep. Bye! Because we were doing that. See you guys next time. Thanks for listening. Bye, bye. Good night, everybody.